part 2 heat in this video we will discuss about a clinical thermometer reading of clinical thermometer human body temperature about laboratory thermometer and measuring temperature with a laboratory thermometer the thermometer that measures our body temperature is called a clinical thermometer it reads temperature from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius or from 94 degree fahrenheit to 108 degree fahrenheit a clinical thermometer consists of a long narrow and a uniform glass tube with a bulb at one end containing mercury there is a small shining thread of mercury outside the bulb there is a kink near the bulb which prevents the mercury level falling from on its own how to read a clinical thermometer while using the clinical thermometer to measure the human body temperature some measures must be followed to ensure proper reading of temperature the measures are as follows wash the thermometer properly with an antiseptic solution hold it definitely and give a few jerks which will bring the level of mercury down below 35 degree celsius place the bulb of the thermometer under the tongue wait for 1 minute take the thermometer out and note the reading keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight this reading gives the exact body temperature it is necessary to state the temperature with its unit denoted by degree celsius it should be handled with care as on hitting against some hard object it can break and don't hold the thermometer by the bulb while reading it this picture gives the correct method of reading a clinical thermometer we should have to read the thermometer keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight the normal temperature of a human body is 37 degree celsius which may differ from person to person it may be either slightly higher or slightly lower this value is derived from the average body temperature of a large number of healthy persons the temperature of human body normally does not go below 35 degree celsius or above 42 degree celsius if the body temperature goes beyond the defined value then it is necessary to consult a doctor that is the reason why that clinical thermometer has a scale ranging from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius note down the number of divisions between two marks suppose the bigger marks read 1 degree and there are five divisions between them then one small division can read as 1 by 5 is equal to 0.2 degree celsius there is a lot of concern over the use of mercury in thermometers mercury is a toxic substance and is very difficult to dispose of if a thermometer breaks nowadays digital thermometers are available which do not use mercury digital thermometers are easy to read because it gives lcd display of the temperature of the person laboratory thermometer a laboratory thermometer has a long narrow glass tube it has a bulb at one end containing mercury it has a scale marked in degree celsius the range of a laboratory thermometer is generally from negative 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius while measuring the temperature with a laboratory thermometer we should have to take some precautions and here an activity is given take some tap water in a beaker dip the thermometer in the water so that the bulb of the thermometer does not touch the bottom or sides of the beaker
halt the thermometer vertically the mercury level rises wait till the level of the mercury becomes steady not the level of the mercury thus will be the temperature of the water and we should be kept upright and not tilted the thermometer and the bulb should be surrounded from all the sides of the substances of which the temperature is to be measured for measuring our body temperature we will use only clinical thermometer for all other purposes we will use laboratory thermometer